सो हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल प्रियोब्रत एंड वेलकम टू द हेल्पफुल टेक्निक्स सो रिसेंटली वन ऑफ आर व्यूअर रवि तेजा हेज सेड हिज ओन एसेंचर ऑफ कैंपस इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस विथ अस सो इट इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द रिटर्न टू द टेक्निकल एंड द एच आर सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दैट सो बिफोर डिस्कसिंग फर्दर आई वुड लाइक टू से थैंक यू टू द रवि तेजा फॉर शेयरिंग हिज डी एसेंचर ऑफ कैंपस इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस विथ अस एंड ऑल्सो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ आर अदर व्यूअर्स टू शेयर देयर ओन experience or the interview experience with us so that others will get benefited of this they will be able to know the selection process and the syllabus etc etc it may be for essential or juho or tcs or any other company and it may be for the written test or technical hr whatever so it doesn't matter whether you have completed the all or the whole selection process or the partial selection process so whichever you have attended for any of campus you can just Uh, share your interview experience or the uh, any selection process experience with us so in order to share your interview experience with us you need to send your uh, full name and the contact details or the phone number and uh, the company name for which you are going to share your interview experience with us and uh, by providing all these things you need to send a uh, send the message to our email address helpful techniques at the rate gmail dot com so there are the three ways you can share your interview experience first one is the uh, text format that means typing your experience and sending it to the to our email and second one is the through the audio process like normal calling and third one is the video calling process like uh, through uh, zoom meeting or any other hangouts etc so it's a best uh, choice you can say because it will be more interactive and people will be able to know uh, more about the selection process it will be more interactive so i would suggest all of you to share your interview experience uh, through the video calling only if it is not uh, uh, possible or if you are not comfortable with the video calling then you can uh, share through the normal audio calling or you can say normal phone call all or the third option is the Uh, simple text format you can type and send it to the uh, through the email only so if you want to share your interview experience uh, send your interview experience uh, to our email address helpfultechniques@gmail.com so now let's discuss step by step starting from the written test to the technical and the hr so guys here is his interview experience so he is not able to share his interview experience fully because he has shared through the email only so i am requesting all of you not to run anywhere or don't close this video because here i will be adding up some few things which is very very much important to crack this off campus or this off campus uh, essential off campus or any other off campus so please watch this video till the end and please pay attention here fully you need to watch this video if you want to crack the essential off campus so i have copied this thing to our word file so that i'll be able to explain it pro properly and you will be able to uh, see the video properly and will be able to understand fully so basically there will be four interview rounds so the first one is the written test cognitive technical assessment and the coding assessment then the second one is the communication assessment which is very much easy and it is not a rejection round and the third one is the interview process technical and the hr so basically there will be totally four interview process so technical and the hr will be different interview process because for technical interview there will be a different interviewer or, and for the hr interview there will be a different interviewer but some of that cases the technical and the hr interviewer will be same so for the cognitive and the technical assessment and the coding round if you are going to prepare for this off campus or the written test we have already made three different videos regarding this so here you can see first one is the essential pseudo code mcq questions and the answers which was asked on january 2021 20 23rd january 2021 that means recently asked questions and answers we have discussed about that and we have discussed about the syllabus etc in the in the another video we have discussed about the coding questions so totally there are three different videos regarding essential of campus and about its preparation for the written test so in this video we will not be discussing about that because it will be taking minimum of 1 hour to discuss everything so i'll be putting these videos in the description of this video so that you will be able to go through this video and prepare accordingly so please watch the three previous videos especially if you want to crack the written test 
then please watch this video because after cracking the written test only you will be able to attend the communication and the interview process and get a job so i am requesting all of you to please pay focus on the cracking the written test because you will be getting enough time to prepare for the communication and the interview process or the interview rounds so please pay focus on the uh, cracking the written test only this is the main goal or the initial stage or the initial goal so his interview was on february 6 february then 8 february communication round on the 9th february it was the interview round so after completing the written test there will be an interview technical and the hr so basically there will be two to three or one interviewer for the technical and the hr interview so the total number of interviewers uh, depends upon the panels that have uh, that they have set for you so for him there were two interviewers one was eight years and second one was the 20 years of experience for the mncs you will be facing the interviewers having minimum of seven to eight years of experience so whenever you are facing this kind of situation or the mnc or the technical interview of any mnc please uh, be serious or uh, uh, please be fully prepared with because they know everything and though they will be finding in one way to reject you if uh, although you have thousands or the hundreds uh, reasons to uh, get placed in their uh, company but they will be finding one way uh, to reject you if they are not satisfied with your uh, answer or with your attitude so please be serious while attending the off campus so uh, as per his experience mainly focus on the things that we have written on the resume and be prepared with the things that we have written on your resume thoroughly so especially uh, especially for the mncs whenever you are attending any off campus or the interview they mainly see the resume properly because it is the only thing that des describes you before you describe about yourself or telling about yourself so whenever you are, have created a resume go through the resume whatever you have written like uh, starting from skills and the projects you have completed and the uh, other achievements whatever you have mentioned in the resume go through that and be ready with your answer like uh, if you have mentioned uh, c and java as a skill sets you must be fully prepared with uh, the c and java you must be knowing the theoretical and the practical things they will be asking from that only whatever you have mentioned as your final year project from that only they will be asking and us to explain about the final year project so companies or the big mncs those who do the mass recruitment like accenture tcs wipro infosys these companies ask mainly first of all they will be asking about tell something about yourself these are the fixed things they ask to you in the technical and the hr interviews tell something about yourself then they will be asking about the final year project if you don't belong to the any uh, it background then they will be asking about the uh, things or the topics from your final year uh, things like uh, uh, solid mechanics etc for the mechanical engineering backgrounds they will be asking about the uh, engines or the four stroke engine and the gears etc they will be asking like this they will be asking after that they will be asking about the final year project so you have to be prepared prepared with the basic things that you have achievements or the projects that you have done in the in your academic career so are you a team player of the individual and asked me to share an incident according to my reply reply so as a team player means uh, if you have any developed any project during your academics or during your btec or during graduation in a as a team that will be explaining about your team player like uh, what are the roles uh, you have uh, carried or like uh, i was doing as the uh, development of the product or the project i was uh, doing the marketing part or i was doing the document documentation part etc they will be saying whether you have come uh, com uh, whether you have positively uh, helped or contributed to the team or not they will be taking uh, checking uh, that only so why from electrical background to the software background that means from uh, any other background or the non csis background why do you why do you want to switch to the uh, computer science or the it field then uh, be ready for this question so if you are not 
बट एवर अबाउट वट डू यू नीड टू से टू दिस क्वेश्चन और एंसर्स टू दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो लाइक कॉमन एच आर क्वेश्चन द इंटरव्यूज आर ड्यूरिंग द एच आर इंटरव्यू लाइक वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू स्विच इन टू द आई टी फील्ड वाई शुड यू हायर यू वे आर यू इंटरेस्टेड फॉर दिस ऑफ कैंपस और फॉर दिस जॉब प्रोफाइल एंड वेर डू यू वॉन्ट टू सी यूर सेल्फ आफ्टर फाइव ईयर्स और वाई शुड यू हायर यू and uh, do you want to do the extra uh, uh, night shift or extra uh, overtime duty etc they will be asking so we will be discussing about the common or the frequently asked questions hr questions in the hr interviews in the next video we'll be definitely discussing about that because most of the candidates don't know how to explain or how to approach all these questions so any certification courses you have done like c java any technical things they will be asking any technical courses you have completed or undertaken etc they will be asking do you have any questions for me so as he belong to the electrical background and i guess he has not specified any uh, programming languages like uh, c java python etc he is uh, uh, in the in his resume so that's why they have not asked anything like uh, any programming questions here to him so that's why uh, he has not mentioned anything about that but if you have mentioned any programming or the technical skills like c java python uh, c++ and data science etc they will be definitely asking you from that so one thing i need to highlight here i have seen that nowadays uh, due to covid 19 situation most of the candidates are uh, most of the employees are doing work from home and most of the candidates are uh, learning or attending the, their college things from their home itself so at this time i have seen that in the linkedin they are uh, sharing every 2 to 3 days they are sharing a certification like uh, you know, online through coursera udemy we have completed a course within 2 to 5 6 days so it is not possible to uh, learn a technology in 2 to 3 days it is not possible so what they are doing they theoretically they are just skipping the videos and while doing the hands on or the practical things or doing the assignments they are just uh, doing the copy paste in the internet and they are getting the result i know the things behind this so simply they are getting a pro certificate like we have completed this technology or we have achieved this certification so it is good for nothing or it is useless if you have no uh, practical knowledge or any hands on experience if you don't have then it is waste of waste of money as well as waste of time so i would request all of you not to overfill your resume with the extra skills like if you are not fully prepared for the technical skills or the technical things then you need not to mention these things like simply mention i know c java that's more than enough because these companies like uh, tcs essential we pro infosys they hire minimum of 15000 to 20000 candidates every uh, every year and they have uh, they have the projects in every domain like starting from java python cloud and data science machine learning in every field they have the project so as per their requirement they will be giving you the training and they will be deploying you into the project so it does not matter whether you know c java python etc 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 it does not matter they will be checking three things one is the they will be checking the three things one is the communic communication skills first one is the communication skills analytical skills and the problem solving th skills if you have these three basic th uh, skills or the basic qualities or the knowledge they will definitely be hiring you it does not matter whether you know the we have completed the online certification etc it doesn't matter so as per their requirements they will be giving you the training after that they will be deploying you in the project so i have seen that most of the candidates uh, like mention that i have uh, achieved the certification in python data science machine learning what they do within 5 to 6 days they complete the course and mention that i know this 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 in their resume so what what will be the expectation of the uh, technical and the hr interviewers that yes this guy knows very good things or the new technologies then their expectation will be more and they will be asking like uh, rocket science questions so if you don't have any practical knowledge or the hands on experience in these technologies then don't mention in your resume otherwise they'll simply ask you many questions out of the syllabus and uh, you will get rejected
so i would suggest if you know the basics like c data structure java etc it's more than enough so please mention or uh, take care of this thing so apart from this we'll be discussing about the hr questions in the next video so please subscribe to our youtube channel so that in the next video you will be able to know how to approach the uh, frequently asked or the mostly asked hr questions so this is all about the um, his experience so i hope this video was very helpful so it was helpful then please give a thumbs up and comment your doubts and the comment suggestions in the comment section below so that we will be able to improve our content and we will be able to solve your issues so thank you for watching and all the best for your job search